Hey there folks, it's Antar. My battle today is against Optimistic Prime, at least that's his Smogon username. I found him through the Smogon Battle Finder, and I'm using my Sam team, which is technically OU because it runs Metagross and uh, Jellicent, but other than it's those two Pokemon are what's in the way of it being a UU team. And as soon as I find a replacement for Metagross, it's actually going to be redone as a UU team, but I'm having a hard time anyway. My opponent leads off with Swampert as I lead off with Roserade. He's going to go ahead and call back his Swampert, fearing the Giga Drain, sends out Shaman. My Giga Drain actually does a fair amount of damage, so I go ahead and go for the Hidden Power Fire here, and that actually does a really good chunk of damage. I'm actually quite impressed. My opponent's Shaman goes for the Substitute, which I could break with a Hidden Power Fire quite easily, it looks like, but I'm actually going to take this opportunity, since I am at full HP, to go ahead and go for the Toxic Spikes because a lot of his Pokemon, a lot of Pokemon on his team are going to be really, really screwed over by getting toxic if I can get up two rounds of toxic spikes. So I get hit by Hidden Power, I believe it's Hidden Power Fire at this point, but I see that it's not even going to two-hit KO me, barring any crits, so I'm going ahead and set up a second round of toxic spikes. My opponent goes for another Hidden Power, and it's going to bring me down to 12, 15 HP, and at this point I'm going to want to pull back because I'm fearing uh, that Swampert, I'm fearing, and I, I want to be able to take it out with a Giga Drain later in the match. So I go ahead and send out Pazuzu, my Zapdos, thinking, I can take anything from this guy, even though I'm physically defensive, you know, I resist grass and fire is neutral. I get hit by a Hidden Power, and then I see, oh, that wasn't Hidden Power Fire, that was Hidden Power Ice. Now granted that was a crit, but it was super effective, so what's super effective against flying types and uh, grass types? There's only one and that's ice. So anyway, my opponent leech seeds me. I don't think he could have taken me out with another hidden power ice at this range of health. Maybe... I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the roost, recover back almost all of my HP. I'm, at, I'm up to 313 now. My opponent's going to recover a lot of HP thanks to not only leftovers, but also leech seed. And leech seed's also gonna sap my health quite a bit, but shaman's gonna recover a whole whole lot and I really, really should switch out, and indeed I do. I'm gonna go ahead and send out Mick, my Umbreon, thinking, you know, it's specially defensive, it can take any hit from this guy, and I can hit him hard with a payback, because he's obviously gonna be faster than my freaking Umbreon. So yeah, hidden power really isn't gonna do much. My opponent now takes this opportunity to go for a Seed Flare, I'm gonna tank that hit quite well as well, and here I'm gonna go for the payback. And so considering how much damage uh, Hidden Power Fire did, I was expecting that this would at least break his sub, but it's quite obvious in retrospect that this was a physically defensive Shaman, and he is playing it really, really well. It's going to take two paybacks to break his sub. My opponent's going to take this opportunity, uh, I believe my opponent's going to take this opportunity to, um, oh, he tried to set up uh, Le 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 Leech Seed previous turn. Anyway, he's going to go ahead and send out Swampert. Swampert is going to be poison, which is going to be nice. I have Mick use Wish, and I'm really glad that I did that, considering I'm definitely going to want to pull back my Umbreon. And predicting my opponent to go for the Stealth Rocks, I'm going to go ahead and send out El Cabong, get the free switch, and that's excellent because now I can Giga Drain this guy and uh, one-hit KO him, assuming he doesn't switch out. That Wish is also really going to help me out, bring me back up to 211 HP, uh, but then again, you know, if I actually get off the Giga Drain against the Swampert, I would probably have recovered most of that up anyway. So I do go for the Giga Drain here, and I'm going to one-hit KO that Swampert because he's not going to switch out, and that's really, really excellent because my El Kabong does carry the Focus Sash, so now I know I can take at least one hit from whoever he sends out. He sends out Deoxys, and so I'm like, yes, poisoned means that its Focus Sash, which a lot of them carry, is going to be broken. It's gonna hit me with an Ice Beam, and I'm like, that's okay, I've got the Focus Ash, but I didn't even need the Focus Ash. I survived with 58 HP, and I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Giga Drain here. Oh yeah, and it looks like my opponent actually has Life Orb. Uh, so, anyway, I recover back to 141. I'm hoping that the Toxic Damage will be enough, but it's not quite enough, so I'm going to go ahead and Toxic Stall this guy out, pull back El Kabong, and send out Ringo, predicting the Ice Beam yet again. My opponent is indeed going to go for the Ice Beam, I'm going to resist that, and between Life Orb and the Poison Damage, Deoxys is going to go down. So that's great because that means he didn't get any opportunities to set up spikes or what have you, and that's really, really excellent. So Ringo is in there, my opponent's going to send out Shaman, and I'm thinking, I want to see what this guy can do. It's obviously a defensive set, so maybe I can take a few hits. 
Uh, I go ahead and go for Taunt this turn, as my opponent misses the Seed Flare, which is an awful bit of hacks. I'm really sorry about that. But now he can't set up the subs, and that's going to be excellent, excellent for me, because that thing behind a sub is just really beastly. So yeah, my opponent's going to go for the Hidden Power Ice here, predicting my switch. I'm not going to switch. So I'm going to go ahead and taunt again uh, to make up for the fact that uh, Seed Flare missed the first turn. I'm just trying to make up a little bit for the hacks. My opponent was, I think, getting a little bit cranky at that bit of hacks. Or maybe he wasn't, and I'm confusing with another battle. Anyway, second Seed Flare misses, and I'm like, oh dude, I am so sorry. That is just some really rough hacks. My opponent's going to recover a little bit past 50% with leftovers, but the poison damage is going to bring it down below 50%. So, uh, you know, this is going really well for me, and now Seed Flare is going to hit, but as I suspected, it's not actually going to do too overly much to me because I do run a fairly defensive set, and worse yet, I get the Cursed Body Hacks, but no, it actually gets even worse because my Ice Beam this turn gets a crit and takes out his Shaman. Now, I'm not 100% sure that Poison Damage wouldn't have done the damage that uh, Ice Beam, the Ice Beam crit added, but... Either way, it's some bad hacks. My opponent's going to go ahead and send out Lucario here. I leave in Ringo to die as kind of a mea culpa for all the hacks. Uh, it's I've heard that there's an implementation of the Pokemon Online Battle Simulator that has no hacks in it. I'm actually really curious to wonder how that works, but that would be really, really interesting to play hacksless Pokemon. My opponent's going to go ahead and switch out to Conkeldur here as I send out Leela, and I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz, and Conkeldur is one of the few Pokemon that's actually helped out by my Toxic Spikes because almost all of them run Guts. I actually managed to one-shot it with a Flare Blitz boosted by Sheer Force and Life Orb, and that's really, really impressive because I had no idea what I was going to do about Conkeldur, especially since I allowed Ringo to be sacrificed. Out comes Dragonite. I'm going to go ahead and Rock Slide it, Obviously it's not going to hit the flinch, and uh, multi-scale is going to save that thing's life, although looking at that amount of damage, I'm thinking it's a bulky Dragonite set. Not 100% positive, maybe I'll run the Calyx. Dragonite's going to recover up a little bit more HP, thanks to leftovers, and I'm going to go ahead and send out Uchikoma. Now my opponent has not gone for the Dragon Dance at all, so that's going to be excellent for me. I'm pretty sure I can take one hit no matter what. He uses Fire Punch, and as you can see, I survive with about half of my health, and so now I'm going to be able to get off an agility, and since he hasn't Dragon Dance at all, I'm going to be able to outspeed him the next turn, and smack him with a super duper effective Ice Punch. So yeah, here comes the Ice Punch, and there's no question that's going to take out a Dragonite. I mean, 4x effective and whatnot. So down goes Dragonite, and I believe my opponent is going to have only one Pokemon remaining, and that's Lucario. And because of that agility, I'm going to be faster. I have nothing to fear from an, an extreme speed. So Earthquake is going to take him out, and that is going to be the match. So great game, Optimistic Prime. Uh, hope you folks enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.